Well, I got a little light here that I put up uh, ages ago and doesn't really serve a purpose anymore. I've got lights over here that, you know, light up our backyard area and all that, but I need something for the mega shed. So, um, what I'm thinking about doing is just taking this off, taking this wire out and rerouting it to the back side of this post. And that way I got a little light for the front over here so I can see. So I think that's what I'll do. And yep, see how it goes. Yeah, so I'm having to remove these clips. They're a little bit of a pain, but use the old screwdriver and pry up in there and they come out with a little bit of work. These are some heavy duty clips too. I remember putting these in and man, what a pain. So yeah, let me concentrate on this for a bit. I might need to break out the old pliers to get some of these out. They're just in there good. There we go. Some mean nails. I'll get that in a bit. Alright, I've gotten to the point now I need my ladder so I can get up high enough and get that top clip. Alright, gotta get that last one out. Let's see if I can do this here. Oh yeah, not bad. Alright, so now everything's freed up here. Now I'll just reroute the cord and move this to the other side here. Okay, now I just gotta get these brackets off and I'll relocate them. All sorts of crap up here. Man. Alright, that's everything. So now I'm gonna have to disconnect it so I can reroute the wire on the back side of the post and run it up there. So I guess that'll be next. Well, actually I didn't really need to disconnect the wiring at all because I discovered my panel is actually not connected to the post anymore up there. It's broken loose. So I just slid the cord down through there, which will be good enough for now. And uh, I'll just go ahead and mount this light. And as for the bracket on this thing, looks like it's broke. I guess that'll just have to be another project. I may have to rig something up across it there to kind of hold it in place. So, oh well. Yay. All right, there you go. I just need it low enough so I can actually see here on the front porch. I don't want to put it all the way up there where it's going to be blocked by the roof line and all that. So, yeah, that was pretty easy. And it's already got like a 120 luminescent spiral bulb in there. So it actually only uses like 30 watts or something like that. So yeah, it's pretty bright. It'll suffice for at night here. So neat. So yeah, there you go. Another small project that I've been procrastinating on that is now complete. So, until next time, adios.